Mrs. Catherine's special honour, and her noble intention was to baptise, marry 
and ordain her followers. I think it is appropriate, he said. I can't stop this. There's something embarrassing about his approach. No, dear, I don't think so. I hope to see it differently. His book is a mixture of slavery and self-confidence, promising to be okay. I can't wait to see it. Mary said, In the oral tradition, this book is a myth. The olive branch may not be a new idea, but I think it's a good idea. For Catherine and Nydia, the letter or the author was not interested. It was impossible for their relatives to be read, and in a week they witnessed the excitement of a multi-ethnic group. A letter from the chief to his mother breaks Colin's hatred, and she prepares to find the fear that has gripped her husband and daughters. Mr Collins was respected by his family because he was a timely person. Mr Bennet did not say much, but women are ready to talk, and Collins seems to have no need for motivation or the desire to make peace with themselves. He is 25 years old. His spirit is strong, gentle and upright. She recently thanked Mrs Bennet for having a wonderful daughter family. They said they had heard many things of their beauty, but at the same time the glory of truth had fallen. He also said he had no doubt seen them all get married at the right time. Some of his listeners did not like the idea, but without question, Mrs Bennet's answer was simple. You are very beautiful, I know very well, and I can assure you with all my heart, otherwise you will be poor enough. Things are very calm. You mean maybe a sense of place? Ah, Lord, I'm in here. This is sad for my poor wives, you have to admit it. I don't want to hurt you, because I know such things are right in this world. It is not yet known what you will do after leaving the job. Well, I'm wise, my wife, in matters of good brothers, and I can say the same, but I realise I'm not overreacting. But I assure the girls that I'm going to have fun. They're stupid. Reduced by food invitations, and the women smile. That was not the only thing Mr House, dining room and all its furnishings, had to say on the matter. And all her praises will be in the heart of Mrs. However, Bennett has the most important priorities of all his views as to the future economy. Food is also on time. He asked to know his good cousin is cooking. But she was raised by Mrs. Bennett, who assured her that she could cook well and that her daughters were not in the kitchen. He asked her not to worry. In a low voice, he showed that he did not stumble, but continued to apologise for about a quarter of an hour. Until next week.